<laughs> new guys and welcome to Darksiders so it has been a while since I started a new let's play so I decided to actually go with Darksiders I don't know much about this game I have played it once and I played halfway through I believe and uh, that's about it I can't remember anymore so it didn't make much of an impression on me obviously I don't know if it was because I was in a time where games didn't have a priority and I just played it to have something to do sometimes or if it wasn't just a good game I can't remember so I decided that we should try it because it seems interesting and I can remember that I probably liked it so it would be a little bit of both blind and non-blind so let's just see what happens um, I'm going to be a wuss on this one, so I choose easy. Since the dawn of time, the armies of heaven and hell have waged an endless war. Drawn to the conflict was the Charred Council. An entity bound by ancient laws to preserve order and balance. It held that any great power, unchecked, threatened the very fabric of the universe. In time, heaven and hell came to honor the council and its laws. For none were beyond the swift and terrible justice of the council's enforcers. A fearsome brotherhood known as the Four Horsemen. Amid the turmoil, the first humans emerged. The Council foretold that these weak but cunning creatures would someday be integral to the balance. Thus, a third kingdom was named. The Kingdom of Man. By order of the Council, a truce was forged between Heaven and Hell. The Great Pact was bound by seven seals to be broken at the appointed time when man's kingdom stood ready for the end war. A battle that would bring balance and determine the ultimate fate of the three kingdoms.
So this is the tutorial level. Ah, I can't do this. I need to. I can't have it on all levels. Let's see. No, 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 no. That's too loud. There we go. That's almost at lowest, but still acceptable. Same there. Same. Uh, voices can be a little louder. That doesn't matter because I like to hearing them talk. But I can't deal with too much noise. That should be enough. Alright. So, this is the guy we're playing as. Uh, I believe his name is Wrath, but I'm not sure. And as I said, this is the tutorial stage, so nothing to worry about there. Left TB. Whoa! Say that one again. So obviously what we're witnessing here is the apocalypse more or less. And that should be fine and dandy and all. And shouldn't this deactivate by itself somehow? Oh well. It seems I pissed off not only hell, but also the angels. At least they're all after me. One way or another. But as I said, I'm not really sure what's going on. There we go. There that cancel. What is happening? So I no longer can sustain my chaos form. Alright, I can fight with the van! And I can smash stuff with it. Can I throw it? There we go. That's the way to throw it. And so our path is blocked. And this van is burning somehow. Ah, come on. Can 
can understand you will not heal, but don't be such an asshole about it. What the... Alright, I can climb that. Seems like it should come from hell. Whoa. Horizontal pipes? Ah, cables and wires. Here we go. Yeah, so far it seems like my kind of game. Can't return. No, that's not unusual. No, but I like this. This seems nice. Like, a bit of hack and slash combined with... Uh, probably will do something like level up in them. and we will probably do something like leveling up or anything like that. As I can see I have lesser health than I had when I began. I haven't been able to go back in. Either that or we will lose the equipment we have now or something like that. And we will start by going from scratch. That is not unusual in these kinds of games. Oh, come on. I haven't found a way to get my health back either, but uh, that will probably sh show itself. Whoa! That was kind of a long draw. Oh, hello. Ah, looking at this, this should be the end of human civilization, more or less. Hello. Wire time it is. So we're back on the streets. This cannot be the end. A 
Oh, hello. Big explosions over there. Can't be good. Not by any means. Important. Impossible. Abaddon, what is this? Where are my brothers? This cannot be the, the final seal. My lord! How did this happen? Was not broken. Abaddon! <sighs> what in heaven's name have you done? I answer the call. Who is that? for some real problems here. Alright, so I have to throw cars at this guy, probably. Dangerous, do not use that at home. That's a bit immature, don't you think? Throwing cars at people. Come on. Don't hit me, you sunder pussuus. A couple of good hits in there. All on the account of being brave. Here comes the cars. Here, take a taxi to the face. Oh, 
Nice. In the eye. Whoops. What's happening? <laughs> what? The law has been broken. And so have you, horseman. <laughs> the law is clear. When the seventh seal is broken, four horsemen shall ride forth to punish the wicked. Be they sons of men, Lords of Heaven, or the dregs of Hell. All upon the earth will be judged, and the bad forged anew. You forget your post, horsemen. You forget the law. No call was given, yet the destroyer marched, and there you were found, under his black banner, if the claims are true. To hell with your claims. The seals were broken. I was summoned. Then where are the other horsemen? Were they not summoned as well? The seven seals are hidden, as they have been since the pack was forged eons ago. All of them intact. There was no call. You raided the Dark Ones, broke a sacred covenant that has doomed mankind, and threatened the balance. Do you deny it? When I rode, heaven and hell were already at war. Abaddon was there. He knew something. Abaddon fell, fighting off the chaos you unleashed. I fought powerless against the demons, and still you accuse me. Your defeat proves nothing. Likely the Destroyer cast you aside when he was finished with you. You have to file the law, Horseman. You will be punished. I serve only the Council. Only the Balance. As the Horsemen always have. Send me back. I will punish the ones responsible. How? What hope do you have against the Destroyer's armies? You are powerless. Then I will fail. And the demons will have carried out your sentence. Very well. You will return to the Earth. But you will be watched. Come forth. Ooh. <laughs> Remember that, or I will really get under your skin. <laughs> So we're playing as a war, and we're obviously, um, what should I say, they are suspicious that we have unleashed the chaos that we saw on the world. And chaos Eater, the angry blade thirsts for destruction. That's a blade. Is that the only choice I have? Alright, I can't use that. Alright, so they're obviously suspicious that we have caused the 
destruction of man, or at least the apocalypse that we saw on the uptime that we tried to fight off, but uh, oh, nice. Alright, so we're stripped of our powers. I'm just going to save here. Also, I force first said that we were going to be. So, we're harnessing the power of this attack to summon a field of deadly blaze around the board. So, ah, here we go. Here we can see some stats and also everything around it. Um, here we can go into the inventory. So you can see that, uh, as I said, we were going to level up. Uh, you can see from that that we have abilities, consumables. We can also get new blades, obviously. Some gear. Uh, we have some things to show between. And some artifacts to get too. So we have a bit, quite a lot of things to do. That's nice. Yeah, uh, one thing I actually love about this game that I noticed the now... The souls of the dead will be your currency. Some enemies are more easily bought than killed. Mm, nice. Yeah, as I said, I noticed right now that I actually love about this game is the voice actors. I absolutely love the voices in this game. Let's see what we have over here. Currency, health, and the breath. Alright, so what we're supposed to do. Seek is the demon Fulgrim. Few can afford his services, but perhaps you can strike a bargain. The council confers with demons now, does it? Since the truce was broken, some demons have fallen from the destroyer's favor. Fulgrim is one such outcast. He has long sought an audience with us. How long have I been here? Looks like our trajectory was a little off. Not so fast, horseman. Let's lay down a few ground rules. Until this is over, you're a dog on a leash. I say bark, you bark. And if I have to kick you, you'd better not bear your teeth. Understand? Or should I teach you to play dead? Good boy. Alright, so we have to survive this hellish guy. That's no fun. Let's see. All right. So we still can use some of the sword slashing techniques at least. Still this one too, uh, but not as fierce as the we could before. But that doesn't matter. Uh, it seems like um, Hell on Earth is no longer just a word playing words. It seems it's actually quite literally. Yeah, I know, I can double jump. What? Alright. But yeah. It will take some time for me to get used to everything. But that won't be a problem in the end. Uh, 
it's just it takes some time getting used to everything. This ledge, it seems like it should be some Ah, here we go. Hello, boys. War, why don't you introduce yourself? Hello, boys. My name is War. Time to die. Seems like I get souls from killing these guys also. There are a couple of them. Oh, that's nice. 